welcome to another YouTube video. Um, as you can see in the description, it's not going to be about travel this time, it's going to be about design. Um, as you guys might or might not know, I'm a designer, I'm a UI designer and a UX designer. I wrote an article about how I became a, a, a designer from an engineer and um, told everything that I did, everything, every skill that I learned so that it will be useful for someone else and it was it had like great response and i got great feedback it made me feel so nice so i thought you know what i'm gonna put together this uh, uh video i narrowed it down to 10 questions which i get asked most of the time um you know i'm gonna be doing more videos but this is like a basic design video like a basic like what do you do first so yeah i mean let's jump right into it so i get asked what is UI UX design? <laughs> UI design is mostly like designing interfaces and how, okay, so um, how should the interface be? Like what tabs do I have and what the design should be, what font should go where and you know everything and also when I click on the search button, what happens? When I click on the notifications button, what happens? So for everything, and how, do, how does the uh, uh, user in, like interact with it so it's basically the whole interface of an app or it could be a website or it can be a dashboard it can be anything a ux designer is more like a user experience designer so it's more like they do case studies they run scenarios they talk to people they interview people and so what i do is i interview clients okay what do you want in your dashboard what do you want in your dashboard and um, sort of like who's the user what do they want to see on it what uh, he gets what he wants how does he interact with it is it good is it bad they conduct tests and stuff so that's what user experience designer does and this product designer interaction designer there are so many names for it frankly i think um, product designer is more like user interface designer and ux designer so far as far as i know and the same goes with interaction designer as well and it's not just web interfaces you know it's everything it can be a car it can be a car dashboard it can be um uh, Amazon Echo, it can be a speaker, it can be anything, it's just product design. So it's just a design of it. So what skills do I need? You need to learn like design skills, like say Photoshop, um, Illustrator. But if you have a Mac, I would suggest getting Sketch App. It's Sketch App. I'll put all the links down below so that you can click on it and you can download. And, and it's not just about the tools, it's also about how um, so you have to know the design principles as well, such as go to Google material design or IO design, uh, you'll find out a lot about it and also you need to learn prototyping tools. Prototyping tools are basically uh, tools that help you. So you've created your design in Photoshop or Illustrator or Sketch or wherever it is and you want to include the interaction. So this InVision app, Marvel app. So learn these design tools, they're gonna be, and keep practicing with these tools because it's not just how you navigate the tool, it's also about being really precise about your design and designing it over and over and over again. You just have to keep looking at people's websites and people's so many things and just keep designing. And there's so many uh, uh, apps out, uh, so many websites out there say Dribble is something where graphic designers go and post about their work they post they're just really good they're wonderful pieces of work and you can go and try replicating them so what i used to do before is i used to try replicating someone's design like copy their design just like that just then you can start thinking out of your box so once you get get those design skill in in place then you can start thinking and start experimenting and start doing a lot of things and do that and then go to envision go to marvel they're all free uh pixate by Google is free. Um, I'll also link down all the other prototyping tools. So use all that. Try to make some kind of app. When you start making something, then you'll automatically get more into it. Once you create your app or your design or whatever it is, just find out if that's good enough, if people really like it. It's always try to get feedback. I always try to network with a lot of other designers and there's so many groups out there. So, you know, you try to network with those designers, try to get their feedback. You'll really get to know if your design is good enough because unless you get feedback, you're never going to know that. So what is the prospect of getting a job 
there's a really high prospect of it because I, if you're really good at it if you're passionate about it you need to be really passionate about it because design is not something that you can learn you can learn it but you the creativeness has to come from inside you can learn a lot of tools you can learn a lot of principles but you have to be creative from inside and for that you have to be passionate about it so if you're really if you work hard if if there are, if you have the skills that are needed you will definitely get a job it's it's a hot field right now everyone's looking for a designer every company wants to hire a designer so you will definitely get a job if you give your best so you do i need to go to do i need to go to a design school not how do i go to a design school that's pretty that's what I want to want. anyways so yeah if you really want to it depends if you really have the money if you have the resources if you want to really go then yeah i would recommend you go to a design school really recommend you take courses or you take online classes or just enroll in a design school if you have the money because i i, I really uh, i mean it was very useful for me and it also kind of makes you uh, throws you in that platform where you can meet other students who are also pursuing the same thing so you get to know a lot of stuff so it's really uh, useful but otherwise i know a lot of people who do who haven't gone to design school but have still kind of made it by themselves how did you make the career shift i just went for it i have wonderful parents they were like yeah definitely go for it i mean they were not, they were a kind they were obviously a little uh, skeptical about it because obviously it's a field that none of us have heard of in my family because coming from india it's a very it's a field that you don't really hear about much so they were very skeptical about it but i always wanted to be an artist or a designer i owned it and i thought you know what i'm not i'm never going to be a good engineer let's just face it i'm never going to be a good engineer <laughs> i probably was would just suck at it and like give up do i need to know coding you need to know html css i'm not like need to know but i knew html css and it's been helping me a lot as a designer some knowledge of coding is really important to know if you know a lot of coding then great awesome but just some coding like html css basics of c c++ and all that which i learned in my engineering school so yeah it's been helpful so i would say some some coding can you review my portfolio so before you get to know ask someone this question get to know about them get to know about their work and then go and approach them after a few um a uh, few messages so few con uh, uh, some conversations so that you know it's they feel comfortable in actually reviewing your portfolio and telling you what you need to know how is a graphic designer different from this and it's basically designing things you know you don't have to know coding for it you don't have to know prototyping tools you don't have to know a lot of things all you need to know is no design tools and be really damn good at it so you just decide colors and do wireframes <laughs> i guess you know so i'm i i put this question out there which is the last question pretty funny because a lot of people ask me so what what do you do like okay you just design decide what colors go on the dashboard what colors go on the app and okay you do wireframes so you know it's not just coming up with the wireframe it's not that easy I'm not even joking a lot of people actually think this what do designers do we do a lot of things fii because it's not just easy coming up with a wireframe and a prototype you know you have to be really creative you have to think out of the box you can't just follow the same damn thing that everyone has done so do, getting a wireframe is not as easy as it sounds or getting a prototype is not as easy as it sounds and you're not just designing colors you're designing the layout you're designing the experience you're designing what the user wants what the user doesn't want if the user likes what he got or if everything it's just everything this anyways i hope you guys liked this video I'm really glad I made this video. I hope you find this helpful. I hope this kind of gives you a head start on design. I'm going to come up with more such videos like this. I am not an expert. I just got started, but I want to help people because when I got started with design, I just wished there were people to help me. I'm really happy to help you. I'm um, please leave down leave down in the comments any questions that you have related to design. Uh yeah, I had fun talking to you guys i see i'll see you in the next video bye bye